Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Well, I was asked by our girl Catherine to participate in her Outdoor Living Spaces collaboration. Catherine has a playlist and please visit all of the ladies who have participated in this collaboration in the playlist that is linked in the description box below. So, I have decided to showcase my bar cart that is uh, outside on my patio area the weather here in Atlanta has been up and down and I just recently was able to start working on my patio so you guys will see that in an upcoming video but for this collaboration I decided to do my bar cart and so my bar cart here is on my back patio and I have styled it as I would if I was having some type of event here some people were coming over or it was just me and hubby sitting out here on a nice breezy spring day and how I would set it up so we're going to quickly talk about it and then I'm going to share with you how I make one of our favorite drinks um, it has become one of our favorites um, the past couple of summers and I know you're going to like it now this bar cart has everything that I think it needs on it every play every item on the bar cart has a specific need and it looks very nice and it's functional this wicker tray here is very great to have because you can just bring all of your glasses out and everything out on the tray sit it down and if you want to you can have some napkins or some type of um, towel up under here to catch your spills but this is really easy to wipe up and to get um to get up stains on my tray you see i have some regular um beverage glasses these are the melamine beverage glasses here and then i have some um melamine wine glasses these here were gifted to me these was purchased um about two years ago from pier one we can't have a bar cart without some type of beverage. So here I have some San Pellegrino sparkling water and my new favorite, my Weeking Owl Moscato here. We always have to have our ice bucket and this ice bucket is from a long time ago, but it is still very functional. I love the yellow colors. You know I love yellow for spring and I thought it would be a perfect accent to brighten up this bar cart. Here are my straws. You need your straws to make all of your drinks very festive. So you have the straws with the little um, pin with pinwheels on them. And this could be great for females and the men could have like a regular straw if the men drink out of a straw at all. But this looks really really pretty and I think it's perfect for the spring to be sitting outside and the wind is blowing and your little pinwheel is spinning around holding my straws you will see this really pretty milk glass container and I that was thrifted now here is just a container glass container that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just using it to hold my ice scoop here now if you wanted to you could um, tie like string around a scoop and hang it on the side but I thought this looked very nice and classy and once you get your ice you can just place this ice scoop back there now if we go to the bottom of my bar cart in the basket here below you will find all of my access my additional plates, glasses, straws, and napkins. This basket was purchased at Michael's and it was $5 on sale. And this is great to have to kind of corral all of your items at the end of the evening and you can take them back into the house. Now we can't look over these adorable napkins and it says I support the four food groups, Chardonnay, Cabriolet, Riesling, and Merlot. So these napkins are perfect for this area. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There is a punch that I'm going to share with you how I make in my next video. And it is absolutely delicious. You don't want to miss this video. It's a great punch to have. 
for any type of event, a bridal shower, baby shower, graduation party is non-alcoholic, or you may wish to add alcohol to it. But either way, you will not be disappointed. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below. And if you're new to Wani's house, I would like for you to subscribe. So guys, I also want to thank Catherine for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. I look forward to it. This is the second time we did it. Thank you, Catherine, for hosting another great collaboration. So guys, I'm about to end this video, but before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.